Kilt, thank you very much. A sold out XL Center is really loud tonight for a matchup that screams Big East basketball. The Villanova Wildcats and the Yukon Huskies meeting for the second time this season. Ogo for Yukon. It's a matchup that everybody hoped would happen when Yukon rejoined mm -hmm. the Big East. These two teams in the top 25, and the tip saved by Martin for UConn. Uh, Kevin Cook, the right now, Miller, the Wildcats go a little. Wait a minute. And RJ Cole will start it up. This is Andre Jackson. Over to Cole. Nice oh, play wow. to Jackson. And the two hand hammer. They well, were working on it all day. I was day just going to say the same thing. Uh, nice little bump and roll and curl. The front by Gillespie. They do a great job harassing on the perimeter. Now the switch back. Slater's on him. Sonogo working against Slater. Slater holding his ground. Sonogo, a little nifty reverse. Woo. Boy, was he pacing, wasn't he? Great footwork by the big guy. Uh, oh, that was in uh, Marquette when Gillespie went down. There's Sonogo. There's that inside yeah. touch you're looking for. You got to move him up, though. And you got a little double drag across the top. Look at the load up in the lane. Sonogo back out to the open man. Waylon for three. That barely tickled the twine. Uh, he's at 28%. He can make some deep ones once in a while. His three won't go this time. Rebound for Jackson, one of the best rebounders in the Big East Conference. And with speed. And the three falls. Martin raining it down. You six to start. Now you had mentioned the maturity of this Villanova team because of the age. Jay Tellen must calm down. A hell of a start here by UConn. There. There's Martin. Back to Sonogo. Nifty in the, on the move. Sonogo with the layup. <laughs> right off the tip. Absolutely. Just a gorgeous play you had mentioned about practice. Big time hops at the rim, but just a nice little curl. Give back. Good use of the rim by the big fella. Ten to shoot. Martin inside. Whaley with the offensive board. Oh, a little physical play down low, and Whaley muscles it in. Well, they're letting them play, too. Our Slater will launch from deep. The three off the heel to Martin. Cole, quick three. And it falls. This kid, something else about him. Got a game deep. Great leadership qualities. Gets it back late in the shot clock. That's when he's toughest. Just demand it. Of Colin during the course of a game, trying to give him blows. A lot of times, there's a media timeout. There's Jalen Gaffney, step back three. Yes, wow. they, the, what guard, appearance. the guard is the key on the inbounds. More the skip and the extra to Archie Diacono on the drive. Rejected and tossed out of bounds by Jordan Hawkins. He's got to be careful. He yep. was woofing. Very close. Very close. And pretty good help on the backside by Sunoco as well. Arch does all the inbounding against presses on the baseline. We had him. Damn, he was driving right at Sunoco. He was up to the challenge, and Polly tracks it down. He does a better job because of the physicality of moving Sunoco out. Sunoco with a spin. By the left hand. Oh, that's a big man moving like a much smaller man. Dixon. Oh. Shot. And he's not like easy. Hey, well, he got Gillespie on his hip. He's very good in the lane, keeping a guy behind him on their ball screen. Got to bounce your way and see how they help out. So no go. A great job on the top by Samuel. Oh, look at Wayne climbing on the offensive glass. It's a tie game. And he said he's going to be a, the next great head coach. Mm. I don't know if he meant tonight, but. Pretty staggering. The way he stands you up, freezes you. Big time check on a little guy. And a 31-30 lead. He's got eight. Moore looking to go to work in the post. Nice spin and the bounce to Dixon. All those Huskies around him. Where's Dixon going to go? Nowhere. Three seconds. You haven't heard that in a while, have you? No. But they're comfortable late in the clock. That's that experience that they have. <laughs> Cole kept the dribble nice alive. Oh, what a feed! And a one! Man, 
Chicago. Man, what a play. R.J. Cole left a smoke trail behind that pass. How about the balance to get up off the deck, though? I mean, just, man, you'd be out for the night. I know I would. <laughs> <laughs> and not for the right reason. Uh, Snow goes so clever just getting right to the rim. He knows the little guy's going to find him. In the wing a little bit. Jackson will pop up for it. Here's Martin. It was a low pass, but Martin gathered for three. Nice shot. Good find as well by Jackson. Gillespie will step back trying to answer. His three won't go. The tip for Dixon secured by Sonogo. Yeah, no easy basket, so a little over back and ready. Early three again. Slap on the floor. He's fired up as UConn opens up a five-point lead. Uh, he does so many things well. He's their Samuels. Of course, making threes just opens up opportunities in the little box area. Jackson batted right back by Gillespie. Boy, they had Sonogo, too. The ball fake at the pass in there. He loves that little hook. There it is again. Yeah, both hands. As you noted, if he's not in foul problems, he is a major issue to contend with. To the box on a switch. There you go. Now you got Slater on him. A nice switch, Samuels. Sonogo going baseline. Samuels out of the way. And Sonogo not only gets the two, but a flop warning issued to Samuels. And a timeout. Man, long pass ahead. And Jackson's going to outrace everybody for that one. Now to the other end. Oh, what a speed! Andre Jackson, he wears 44 to honor Pete Maravich, and Pistol Pete would have loved that pass. How about that little look away? Huh? Oh, that was impressive. The speed to get this and the push. This kid has some motor. Bam! Boy, we have sets number three with some heat on it. Man, That's what a, a look, find. Look, <laughs> unusual kind of a release, not a consistent one. Hawkins, known as a shooter. And the free throw line jumper falls. The youngster, a little smile on his face. Sonogo. Bounces to Polly in the corner. Big three for Polly. Not a good pass. He's got to get better on that delivery. For 40 minutes. Uh, can't have those laps up. Tough shot here. All the duress, but why not? You're that good, that confident. Is up a shot for a better one. Wars three, not gonna go. Rebound again for Andre Jackson. That is his fourth. A quick three. Up and down. Tyler Polly injects life again into the XL center. A nice find. How about that find? Once in a while, Jackson gets in the open floor. He has such great speed. Once in a while, misuse of the dribble, but great. Ignite. Drains it. You were killing him. He made an extra <laughs> pass. Uh, he shot the ones early confidently that time. Nice little screen to get it to the big guy. Oh, what an answer. Sonogo inside and a timeout. Down to 10. Individual skills that this team possesses. Ooh. Got to shoot. Two on the shot clock. Step back. Oh, offensive foul. Gillespie used that off arm to clear space. He's in good position, D. You hear Cole inbounds to Jackson. Now Jackson on the weave will hand it off. Polly jacks up the three. Oh, big hits. time. Oh, Turn on the hand off. One point game. Now you got to move if you're Villanova. And it's Gillespie looking for the tie up. And Off in corner. What a nice little play, getting them organized. Boy, that is solid. And this is the tough one. He didn't really get a good look. He could have kicked it back to the inbounder. Well, they got a little piece of everything there. I would not settle deep unless they force you completely. Into Cole. Slater with the match here. Cole with 13 seconds to Martin. Slipping under 10 seconds to go. Cole pops back out. Eight seconds to go. Cole on the drive to the rim. Floater good. UConn leads. 5.9 to play. Villanova timeout. I'll tell you what, that kid, you take 
is left. He knows how to go right. Look at this crowd and this team rejoicing. He's the man, no question about it. Cold hearted. Open side, nice call by Kamani. Plenty of room to roam. Scout report is jump on the left. And right here, a little screen disdain. And how about him? Goes to his right hand as well around the rim. Big time delivery by a big time performer. And Slater not wanting to give the foul gave ground, but quick timeout and plenty of time now. The big thing, inbounding the ball. Villanova once in a while has their problems as we saw on the sideline. And then the speed dribble too is another important issue. And we mentioned Slater. He's able to throw it the length of the floor. Listen to this building. Gillespie. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. Foul. No. Charge. Fancy foul. Gillespie called for the charge with 1.1 to play. Wow. Woo. Unbelievable. Looking for the foul at the rim. There's that speed dribble ability. Ooh, goodness. Pretty good slide by. But who is it but Cole, too? He got a piece of him, not a solid one. Goodness. Both teams getting a free timeout. They're reviewing the clock to make sure. Absolutely. Just one more for Jackson. Only two tenths left. UConn's going to get a giant win. And that is it. A Husky statement in Hartford. The first win for UConn over Villanova since the 2014 NCAA tournament. We've got a court storm in the Big East. I guess they've arrived, huh? In their mind. What a hard fought ball game, though. And this will lead up to a wonderful week at Madison Square Garden. Oh, my. Sign me up for another dose of Villanova UConn. Uh, both teams left it all out, you know.